down on false alarms. Roseville police are pushing for changes in the way officers respond to burglary alarms, requiring security companies to take one step first. Somebody's truly in an, having an emergency. You don't want to have to wait around for another time, you know, another call and stuff. But then if it's a false alarm, so I'm kind of mixed on that. Officers in Roseville responded to nearly 3,000 home and business alarms last year, and only 1% of those ended up being actual crimes. KCRA3's Claire DeWan tells us the changes police want to make to enhance safety. For homeowners, these signs mean extra safety, but Roseville officers say 99% of the time they respond to an activated alarm system, there's nothing to protect. Many times they're actually false because it's an animal, a helium balloon, a missed keypad by a, a son or daughter or someone who doesn't remember the keypad. Now police want to implement enhanced call verification for burglaries. It means alarm companies must call a home or business twice to vet false alarms before officers respond. I think it's great because then it's too many false alarms that way, then you're wasting time, yes. I think that's probably way better of their time spent and our money being spent for the gas and everything. Police will still respond right away to robberies, medical alerts, or panic alarms. But they say this frees up resources for more urgent calls. We do get a lot of traffic collisions on the high uh, uh, traffic times of the day or commute times. We always have calls of suspicious activity that's normal in any city. The problem of false calls is so bad, police say, there are more than a dozen businesses the officers no longer respond to when their alarms go off. They are severe repeat offenders with as many as 22 false calls in just one year. What do you think about that? Kind of like crying wolf. Yeah, <laughs> so now what do you do? Yeah. yeah, so it's an emergency, then what do they do? Another proposed change would increase permit renewal fees. It'll go from $5 annually to $15 every two years. Police say it helps them stay updated on homeowner information and permit renewals. In Roseville, Claire Dwine, KCRA 3 News.